In this tutorial we're going to look at projecting curves. So let's go to our front viewport and I'm just going to make a quick surface here by using um, curves which I'll then loft together. Now go back to our perspective view. I'll just move this one over. Select both of them. Type loft. And then let's go to our top view and let's just make a circle here. So I'll go to curve, circle and just draw it over your surface, go back to perspective, and let's just move that vertically so we can see this a little better. So I want to project this circle onto the surface, so to do so you type in project, and there's a few options here, there's project, which is the one we're going to use, it then asks you to select the curve and points to project, that'll be the circle, and um, hit enter, and then select the surface you want to project onto, and hit enter, you'll see it'll then project that circle onto that surface. And that's really nice for adding patterns to complex surfaces, but you can also use it to split a surface. So if I type in split, I can select this object that I want to split, enter, select that circle, which is the cutting object, enter. You can see it'll then allow me to trim that geometry out of the surface. So that's a pretty nice um, option there. The other thing you can do if I do project is project to C plane. That's the construction plane, which right now is the XYZ grid, the default grid. So if I select that, I then have the option to delete that input object, which is the original circle, yes or no. In this case, I'll just leave it. Hit enter, and you'll see it'll project that circle down onto the C-plane. So if you have a C-plane that's aligned to a face, for example, you can project onto that face you're aligning to. So really nice feature, the project option.